Citronelle police investigating two overnight crimes. The first, someone set fire to three school buses outside McDavid Jones Elementary School. While police and firefighters were working that scene across town, they say someone tried to break into an ATM. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby is joining us live now from Citronelle. Brendan, police believe the two crimes might be connected. Yeah, well, they don't know for sure, Lenise, but the police chief says that it would be a pretty big coincidence. I'm here at the discount food mark on Highway 45, and let me step out of the way and show you this is where the ATM used to be. First, fire destroyed three buses. Then a would-be thief tried to break into an ATM machine. Police Chief Chris McLean says he sees a pattern. We believe that uh, this was used as a distractionary to be able to have all our assets at one location and be able to have the time to try to break into the ATM. Surveillance video at the store shows a man wearing a ball cap and gator mask first breaking out the lights and then going to work on the ATM. He uses a crowbar to get it open and then comes back several times to try to get at the cash but leaves empty handed. Chief McLean says a passerby called police. C Store Solutions, the company that owns the ATM, removed it early Thursday morning. Edward Boudreau, a technician for the company, tells me the ATM is a total loss and will have to be replaced. He says it's not the first time his company has had to deal with a severely damaged ATM. It's fairly common. Like I say, we're not that large of a company and it happens multiple times a year for us in this local little market, you know. I think it's more frequent in larger cities. It's even more prevalent there, you know. Chief McLean says the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, as well as the State Fire Marshal's Office, are assisting with the investigation. He says it's not certain what the arsonist used to set the blaze, but he adds that video surveillance at the school leaves little doubt that it was intentional. It shows a ignition uh, light source that takes place at one of the buses, a fire, a small fire, that illuminates in a very dark area of the uh, parking lot where the buses were located and you at that point once that the ignition takes place that's when we see someone fleeing southbound through the uh, grass area behind the school into the wood line. And Mobile County School spokeswoman Renee Phillips says that all three of the charred buses were insured. And she also says the system has spare buses, so there will be no disruption in service. Reporting live in Citronelle, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.